Hi and welcome to a new video. There are private or sensitive files and documents stored in a folder that you do not want anybody to access. In this video, I'll show you how to passcode protect folders on your Mac using the pre-installed app called Disk Utility. Let's go. Though you can't really put a password to secure a folder on a Mac, the alternative method is to create an encrypted disk image using Disk Utility. An image file can be encrypted, so it requires a password to unlock it. Launch Spotlight by pressing Command and Spacebar. Then type Disk Utility and open the app. Once Disk Utility is opened, click File at the menu bar, New Image, then Image from Folder. Locate the folder you want to encrypt and confirm with Choose. The files in the folder you selected will be copied into the newly created disk image. You can rename the disk image or leave it the same with the original folder. You can also select the location where you want to save it. In my case, I'll save it on the desktop for now. Now, here is the most important thing, choosing the encryption type for the disk image. The 256-bit option is more secure but takes longer to encrypt and decrypt. I recommend this encryption option for small files. Both formats protect and secure your data, so 128-bit AES is recommended, especially when you want to store big files like images or videos. As soon as you choose an encryption option, you'll be prompted to create and verify a password that you will use to unlock the disk image. As always, I recommend that you use a strong password. Click Choose after typing in your password. The final step is to choose an image format from the drop-down list. By default, the Compressed option is selected which will make the disk image size smaller than the original data. The disk image is also read-only which means you won't be able to make changes inside the folder. If you want to maintain the original file size, select the Read-only option. On the other hand, if you want to be able to make changes inside the folder in the future, select Read and Write. After selecting the image format, click Save. When the process is finished, it will say Operation Successful. Now click on Done. You can now close Disk Utility and locate the image file you created. Delete the original folder if you want by dragging it to the bin. To access the secure disk image, double-click on it and enter your password. Here, you have the option to save the password on your keychain. You can do this so you don't have to manually type in your password every time and instead use Touch ID if you use a newer Mac. If you want to learn more about the iCloud keychain, click on the tag at the top right corner or follow the link in the video description below. Now click on OK and it's going to mount the image file. Double-click the mounted file and now you can access the files inside. If you chose the read-write option, you can add, rename, or even remove files if you want. Keep in mind that when you remove files, the image sizes do not shrink, so it can only grow when you put more files in it. If you chose read-only, you can only open the files inside but can't remove or add anything inside. If you want to lock the files again, just eject the image file by dragging it to the bin. Alternatively, you can right-click on the image file and click Eject. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!